of luck. OK, ever since he landed in the Dales as Jay Sharma, our next guest, has had one eye on building his business empire and another firmly on the ladies. With his sights now set on employee charity Tate, he's about to mix business with pleasure and become tangled in a soap love triangle. Please welcome Chris Bisson. <laughs> Welcome, welcome. Now, there was a, a lot of shouting, and I wasn't quite sure who was with who at that point. Who, wh what was going on there? I thought they'd split up. They're not split up? Yeah, no together? one's with anyone at right. that point. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but Jay is trying to get charity. Right. She's split up from Kane. Jay's trying to get her, uh -huh. and Kane is doing everything he can to put a spanner in the works. You're being very brave, really, aren't yeah. you? Because Kane is a bit of Messing a... with Kane. Yeah. I know. Do you know what? Actually, I went to buy a bottle of wine after filming one day, and the bloke in the, in the co-op said... Oh, I'm not allowed to plug things. <laughs> um, the, bloke in the, co the, bloke, the bloke said to me when I was buying a bottle of wine, he went, you're brave standing up to that Kane dingle, aren't you? I would have been, you know, whatever myself. <laughs> and I know it's... I would be in real life, you know, yeah, I wouldn't take him on. So. It's kind of weird you get to work and you have to be like... But the thing is with oh, them, man. though, they're always splitting up and getting back together, mm. aren't they? And they are in perfect match even though they fight, don't they? So you're trying to get in there and you, do you think you'll ever make it? Cause and why on earth are you thinking of having an affair with someone who works for you? That's very, <laughs> very bad for business. <laughs> Just you to be practical yeah, about no, it. Yeah, no, because once I had an affair with someone <laughs> I work with and it was a complete <laughs> and utter disaster. <laughs> well, I think the thing is, Charity's only working for Jay because he fancies her. He's put, uh, he's put, he's, that's one of his things, he's pulled a close. And also, you yeah. don't want Charity on the rebound from Kane, do you, really? Well, yeah, it's, it, it does get yeah, a little bit... Yeah. Get a, it gets a little bit messy, but it's, it's a great storyline. It's a great storyline. Kane and Charity are great together, but yeah. they're even yeah. better when somebody else is involved sure, in the relationship. Yeah. And that's what we want to watch. And have you got any yeah. time to make any sweets in your factory <laughs> with all this action going on? Do you know what, everyone... Has production just, like, plummeted? It, it has just plummeted. <laughs> Everywhere I go, people ask me for Sharma and Sharma sweets. <laughs> Yeah. I've been saying they're not real, you know it, don't you, love? <laughs> and now we're going to see a different side to you because up up till now, you know, you, you've you've been pretty gentlemanly. Is this going to change? Um, yes, I think last week um, Jay hit on Charity at a hotel. Yeah. Um, so he's kind of headed in that direction, and Ooh. she's she hasn't said no. Well, right. she hasn't very, quite very said yet. <laughs> 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 well, we'll see about that. I'll work on it. Well, he'll be after you then, won't he, Kane? Oh, yeah. I mean, it, you know, the, the storyline runs and runs. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, well, it gets physical. Yeah, brilliant. You know what? We've managed to do it all so far without having a, pr a physical fight, although we've come close to it mm -hmm. on several occasions. Yeah. But it's good because it's kind of... It's edging, edging that way, and he's and pushing... He's raising the stakes all the time. You've done so well because you've worked on some incredible dramas. You've now mm -hmm. moved, obviously, to, to Emmerdale. You're in Coronation Street before mm. that, and, and Shameless as well. Yeah. And what, what, what would, I wouldn't necessarily say what do you prefer, but how different is it going back to a soap after working on something like Shameless? Um, it's great, actually. I really enjoyed going back to a soap. I mean, when it was, when we, it was first talked about, I kind of had to get my head around it again because it, it's, a, it's mm. a different type of job yeah. and it's kind of a real heavy workload. But when I left Corrie and started doing Shameless, I wanted to spread my wings sure. and do different things, mm. and I really enjoyed that. But actually, I really like being back at the same place of work now and you know that new scripts are coming because yeah. often as an actor, you are sat at home waiting for the yeah. postman mm. to bring a new script. Yeah. yeah. I just want to say something to you. Um, when you were in Corrie, yeah. um, you started Streetcars with Steve MacDonald. I think he owned you half of that business, but anyway, that's me making that story. <laughs> it is still half so you, my business, Yes, actually. exactly. So you want to go back and get that money. But anyway, you've, been, you've done a film, haven't you? You did East is East, and, and, yep. um, but you're not in West is West, are you? No, I'm not. But you're hoping that it's going to be... What is it? East to, um, to West? Well, there's East is East. Now, the new one is West is West. West. Yeah. I'm plugging a film I'm not even in here. No, but... What am I doing? <laughs> but... Um, but I, the writer, who was also in Coronation yes. Street, yeah. um, sees it as a trilogy. And the third exactly. one is, um, is set back in Salford, and that is in development. And, and that you will be in. They want me to be in that, yeah. Definitely. East is East was fantastic. Yeah. East is East was great. You know, yeah, I started really off, wonderful. started off as a stage play, and we opened at Birmingham yeah. and yeah. toured around, and it got bigger and bigger, and then we were in the West End, and we had all the lights and our pictures outside the theatre. Yeah. It was great, and it, you know, it, it, it really snowballed, and it, it captured the imagination it of, the, of the UK, really. Mm. And abroad as well, it, mm. it went, played really well across the world. Now, you're a very good-looking chap, if you don't mind me saying. <laughs> well, thank you. Um, how would you feel about dating someone that was even better-looking than you? 
that's possible. Well, my yes. girlfriend is better looking than me, I think. Oh, <laughs> <that's> <laughs> I have right to say that. Hi, Roro. Oh, <laughs> no, you're right. you got a she picture is, as well. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Go on. Um, <laughs> what, better looking? Um, it's difficult. This is the Peaches Geldof, Geldof story, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Is it, she called, she should call it dating, or... dating we up. We just call it dating up. Dating up. Mm. But it's also kind of maybe a bit, I was listening before, a bit dating down if that's all you're looking for. Yeah. Um, okay. But yeah, I think you do need, a, you do need the confidence, don't yeah. you, to go with it. Mm -hmm. I mean, you, you are looking for personality. If you've got the right personality, you're going to be Do you think women are attracted to a sense of humour, though? Because that's my theory, that looks on everything. Uh, no, definitely. Definitely, 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 sense of humour. I think what Jenna's saying, can you laugh a woman into bed? That's what you asked. <laughs> 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 I was feeling tad more about it. Thank you, Karen. <laughs> Bring it all down to basic. Was it, was it last time I was here, somebody was referring to the knickers as a giggle band? And the, <laughs> <laughs> and the more that they laughed, the, the looser it got. <laughs> Laugh them out, and I wouldn't. Yeah. I wouldn't. Re I wouldn't re recommend. <laughs> <laughs> and, and what about what about babies? Does that bring out a different side of you? Are yeah. You, you no, I do. Do? I do like babies. Mm -hmm. I like them better when they start to talk, and yeah. you can start to teach them things. That's what I think. Yeah. Yeah. When, you can yeah. when you can teach them things, I think they're most great, men aren't they? Like that when yeah. they get to the you stage don't want to be involved in the talking. messy stage. Mm. <laughs> well, not really. <laughs> Apparently, I will be a good dad though. Because I was on holiday that? and I was with some friends and the buggy broke. Yeah. So me and my best mate had to go searching in Dubai to buy a new buggy. Mm. Just the two blokes. Yeah. And I picked it. We took it back and the girl went, what great taste in the buggy. <laughs> so apparently that means I'll be a good dad. Well, I'm not know. so sure. <laughs> I think it's more of a style thing. I went for the one. It's with, a good you know. starting point, but there's a few other things to yeah, learn. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely to see you again. It's Chris Bisson, everyone.